What's going on, everyone? Happy Thursday to everyone. Hopefully, everyone is doing well, staying safe, healthy. If you had to take a COVID test, hopefully you have tested negative. If you did test positive, I hope you have a full and speedy recovery with no long COVID issues. It is time now for the Thursday edition of the Pandemic Update for Thursday, April 11th, 2024. If you're new to my channel, this is where we do the daily pandemic update on all things COVID and any other virus that could be a health threat to you. And we do mean any virus, including viruses that are a threat to animals. Yes, we'll have a couple stories on that today. Want to stay informed with what's going on. Like what you see here. Give this a thumbs up down below. Subscribe to my channel down below. If you want to help other people stay safe, guess what? You can do that by sharing these videos. And if you have anything to say, a comment, a question, anything, leave that down below. The more likes and comments we get and shares... The more YouTube pushes this content out through the algorithm, which ultimately helps keep more people safe. Alrighty, we have a big pandemic update today, and I say the word big because we have a lot of news stories to share with you today. It's a very busy Thursday. Some things came out yesterday evening, some things came out today. It's just a lot of things. Uh, we're going to try and fit in a couple wastewater sites. I don't know if we will actually be able to do that because we also have several states to look at today. And we have some upsetting news out of New Jersey today. You'll want to stay tuned for that. It's nothing terribly concerning, but it is kind of upsetting. We'll get to that in just a little bit. Today will probably be one of those 15 to 20 minute pandemic updates, closer to the 20 minute marks, because again, we do have a lot of news. Let's just start off. We're going to read a headline for a lot of these stories. And of course, I may have some commentary on a couple things such as this one. Senator Bernie Sanders of Vermont calls for $10 billion for long COVID moonshot. So in other words, he wants $10 billion in research for long COVID. You know the drill. That's going to have to go through votes and all that business in the Senate. Then it'll be tossed over maybe to the House. We'll see what happens. Uh, it's a start. Hopefully something comes from that. Hopefully the money, if it does pass, gets used for just that. Long COVID. And not something else. Well, such and such school district is running a little bit short on money. Or we need some more money for the police. No. If you're allocating money for anything COVID related, keep it covid related stop sending it to other agencies okay all right moving on to our next story australian deputy prime minister richard marlis has tested positive for covid he's 56 years old his uh report came out yesterday april 10th and it sounds like he's going to be isolating at home right now after testing positive i don't see anything stating whether or not he has had a previous case again he is 56 years old if i see anything else i'll post an update on the site about that and again my website is datareport.info for those who do not know all right moving on to this now and i believe this is also australia flu rsv and COVID. triple whammy of viruses join whooping cough surge as doctors urge to vaccinate again australia just reading the headline here it's not a good headline remember while we are entering summer here in the united states they are now entering winter over in australia all right moving on to this this is something i like to keep on top of chronic wasting disease cwd that's what it stands for chronic wasting disease is now being found for the first time ever in jefferson county west virginia again we don't know of any humans that have ever had chronic wasting disease but as you know there's a lot of deer hunters out there that go hunting and i don't think they always follow through with the uh, chronic wasting disease protocols in some areas in fact i know for a fact there's some places in pennsylvania that don't so uh yeah it's something that we need to take serious again if you hunt in an area that is prone to chronic waste and disease maybe it's in a chronic waste and disease management area please follow the protocols it's just the right thing to do all right two h5n1 stories here's the first one north carolina reports its first outbreak of h5n1 bird flu and dairy cows movement of cattle from detected herds in six other states has been suspended however it doesn't stop there that was yesterday now we come to today infectious disease tracker on twitter says and other sources as well breaking south dakota reported its first dairy farm infected with H5N1 bird flu, bringing the total number of affected states to eight. According to USDA, 
Four more dairy farms have become infected, bringing the total to 24. And I think this is just going to continue to spread to the majority of states as time goes on. All right, moving on now to our next story. Indiana. Yes, we haven't talked about Indiana in a while. Indiana dashboard adds 26 COVID deaths, 1,639 more cases of coronavirus in two weeks since January 2nd. Indiana has recorded 488 deaths. In comparison, Indiana on April 5th had reported 180 flu deaths in the 2023 to 2024 season. So far, this was tweeted out by Kate Pritchard. So uh, thank you for tweeting that out. And of course, I did retweet this, and you can go to the full story that was uh, put out by Wish TV. That's a new station out of Indiana. Then we go over to this. I told you, it's a very busy news day. And we're not even done with news after this, either. Mary Jane cancels tonight's, meaning last night's, performance due to illness. This is a Broadway uh, theater. It looks like it was supposed to be the debut last night. Well, that did not happen due to illness. Now moving on to this, where we have to use Google Search. Yes, because it's an article that's behind a paywall, but there's something here that you need to see that is very important, which we can see without uh, needing to go through the paywall or anything like that, and that is the state of Florida. We often talk about deaths in the United States, but in this case, we're talking about how many deaths Florida has had already so far this year. Florida COVID death toll nears 2,300 in 2024. Experts urge update vaccines. Huh. There's something actually funny about that. Well, it's not funny, but it's silly. Um, experts are urging updated vaccines. I guarantee you the Florida Surgeon General is not one of them. As you know, he's actually advising against vaccines. But here we are. Florida has already had 2,300 COVID deaths this year in 2024. And it's only April 11th. And as we all know, there will likely be more surges of COVID before this year is done with has several months left to go. It's only April, only the fourth month of the year. And finally, we do come to yet another news story. This time it's out of Tasmania. COVID testing change ahead of winter illness season. And this says public health authorities will drop a recommendation that Tasmanians register a positive COVID test, shifting the focus to monitoring for all acute respiratory illnesses. I mean, why would you want to keep track of COVID? I mean, the less data we have, the more we can hide it, the more we can say, see, the pandemic is over. It's, just, it's totally ridiculous how much we try and hide what is going on. But, and Tasmanian has Tasmania has joined a party for that. All right, taking a look at today's air qualities. Let's refresh this. Let's see what we have. I suspect we may find a few bad areas on the east. Oh, yep, from the Great Lakes through to about the northeast, uh, there are a few concerning areas. Same deal with the media coastline from North Carolina, South Carolina, Savannah, Georgia, and right on down to Florida, where we do see some not-so-pleasant air quality today. California. Definitely seems to be a little worse today. From L.A. on southward along the coast, Santa Barbara, San Diego, some bad air qualities for you. Uh, Sacramento, not seeing the best air quality. Fresno, not seeing too good air qualities. And just a couple minor trouble spots up in Washington and not too bad in Oregon. Some of these sites constantly read high numbers. Why, I honestly do not know. And when we take a look at Milwaukee area, Chicago, minor air quality issues for you and again look at this new york through massachusetts boston it's actually particularly uh bad today as is new york city all right moving on now philadelphia yesterday for ems calls 752 ems incidents were reported in philadelphia yesterday again continues to be busy remember we had a stretch where we were below 700 for quite some time that's not the case anymore we can take a look at montgomery county pennsylvania where it has been above 15 calls uh, for a very long time. Now, at one point, it was over 20 calls earlier today, and I am seeing respiratory emergency multiple times, dizziness, strokes, diabetic emergency, lacerations, all kinds of different calls there. Let's see if we can get anything out of Chester County. Okay, for a while there, I couldn't get Chester County to update, and yikes, and yikes. Yeah, I'm seeing a lot of respiratory calls. Not one, not two, not three, but four respiratory calls right now. Heart problems, hemorrhaging, injured person, falls... 
uh, falls and lifts and assists again. So, yeah, it's, it's a busy time right now in Chester County, Pennsylvania. And, unfortunately, we still have nothing out of Walgreens this week. I don't know if Walgreens is going to become a seasonal thing. If they're done, I don't know what the deal is with them. Let's take a look now at a few wastewater sites. And I wanted to go down to Georgia. I was hoping we could get something near Augusta, Georgia. You might know why. It's the biggest golf event of the season. One of the biggest golf events of the year. It's a major tournament. It's the Masters. One of my favorite golf tournaments of the year I like to watch. But, of course, you have to wonder what's going to happen there with the COVID situation. Because there are really... Ugh, there's a lot of people there right now. It is packed out on the golf course. I was watching it just a little bit ago. And it does not look like we can take a look at a wastewater site there on the wastewater scan site. But let's see if we can do anything on the CDC website. Then we will go back. We'll take a look at one wastewater scan site today. Let's see. Can we do anything from the CDC? I'm hoping we can. Uh, we can go over to Clark County, which I believe it's uh, near there. I'm not 100% certain. But uh, taking a look here. In Georgia, Clark County, Georgia, your population 60,000, and for COVID, you are dropping at this time. Now let's go back to wastewater scan, and let's do one wastewater site. How about we go up to Idaho and see what's going on there at this time. Let's go over to Boise, Idaho, and see what your wastewater is doing. For COVID, you are low at this time. You're rising ever so slightly, but it's not terribly concerning. RSV, ever so slight rise but really it's just bouncing around off the bottom influenza a this is an absolute rise wow look at that it's actually really starting to rise but influenza b is dropping at this time hmpv not much of an issue at this time norovirus is running high but it is dropping at this time no mpox detected and hepatitis a i can happily report you have no issues with that at this time all right let's go over to some other data that we'll update again tomorrow hospital admissions in the past Last week 8015 change in hospital missions down 15.3 percent we hope we continue to see that drop again tomorrow something else that is going to update tomorrow hopefully will be the variant proportions 86 percent of the cases is the jn.1 variant jn1.13 is 10.8 percent of the cases jn1.18 is 1.6 percent of the cases at this time we're not going to show you the flu numbers today because that will update again tomorrow all right here's the bad news out of new jersey i hope this isn't the end for new jersey but as of right now for today zero out of 70 hospitals reported no data i'm going to look and see if there's any announcement being made but yeah, I don't recall the last time we saw this happen. I've seen it happen early in the morning where they do some updating, but uh, we're here at 522 in the evening. Yeah, nothing from New Jersey today. That's not good. Luckily, we still do have New York State, where um, 606 people tested positive on the most recent update. Take a look at hospitalizations. We're getting closer to that 500 or less mark, 510. People in the hospital, 62 people in the ICU. I hope tomorrow is the day where I can say New York State is below 500 hospitalizations. With this number dropping, I hope that doesn't mean say, I hope that doesn't mean that New York's going to say, well, it's get low enough now. Let's stop reporting on it because, as we all know, there will be future waves of COVID. There'll be another wave. Don't know when it's going to be, and it would be nice to have access to this data still. So just because numbers are dropping, I hope that doesn't mean hey. It's time to end this now. we got to move on. Numbers have dropped. No, they will eventually rise once again. That's just the way this works. All right, we need to switch browsers now. Why? Because we have more states to look at. It's Thursday. We take a look at several different states. Uh, we'll get back to that state in just a moment. Connecticut so far this week says 243 influenza cases, 52 COVID-19 cases, and 20 RSV cases. Why do I feel like I report the same number every week? I don't know. This is, uh, it does say for this week, so week ending in uh, 4-13, and this is incomplete data. We'll see. if Maybe it is the same number every week. I don't recall. If anyone wants to go back and watch my pandemic update from last Thursday, let me know. Is this the number I reported last week? If it is, we'll just stop reporting on Connecticut. Uh, moving on now to what is going on in Chicago. Chicago hospitalizations are down slightly. It says the daily average is 8.29. Hospital beds in use. 
that's flat at this time. Emergency room visits is up ever so slightly. Laboratory confirmed cases at this time is down. That's good to report. Deaths, they are up ever so slightly, and vaccinations have decreased at this time. Taking a look at Massachusetts, and I do need to refresh this, they're supposed to come in at 5 o'clock on Thursdays, and... Still hasn't, but here's the latest number that we do have from April 6th. 12.1% of all emergency department visits were for acute respiratory disease. Influenza severity is moderate. COVID-19 emergency department visits levels is minimal. And COVID hospital admissions is low at this time. Now taking a look at what is going on in the great state of Washington. And we see here that COVID-19 Emergency department visits are down 29%. Change from the previous week for influenza is down 25%. RSV, 0%. Hospital admissions is down 20% for COVID and down 20% for influenza. 11 people in the ICU for COVID at this time and less than 10 for influenza at this time. For COVID-19, that is down by 5 So all around good news in all the states that we usually look at each week. Alrighty folks, that does it for today's edition of the Pandemic Update. Boy, that sure was a lot of news that we talked about today, wasn't it? If you got a comment on it, which I'm sure you probably do, leave one down below. I would love to read it. Let me know what your opinion is. If you want to see more content like this, subscribe to my channel down below. Liked what you see today? Give it a thumbs up. Want to help keep other people safe and informed about everything we talked about today? Because I'm sure there'll be a lot of news again tomorrow. By all means, share this with anyone you know. I will see you all again next time. Until I see you again next time, which will be tomorrow for the Friday edition of the Pandemic Update, where we get a lot of CDC data. And yes, that weekly variant update, I'm very interested to see. Uh where JN.1 stands. I'm interested to see if it drops a little more and some of those JN.1 offshoots increase. We'll see. We'll find out tomorrow. Make sure you come back again tomorrow. I'll see you all again next time. Till next time, stay safe, everyone, and have a fantastic Thursday evening. Thanks for watching.